what's happening? I'm going to do like my friend Michelle does. She's always like, what's happening? I love it. I'm super excited today. Today was the last day of the 14-day challenge. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this journey and watching my videos and everything. And I feel really good. And I want to discuss my results. My result, my hard results. What's going on, Wendy? How are you doing, friend? I miss your face so much. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm really excited about this 14-day challenge. Number one, number one reason I'm excited about it is I didn't want to do it. I wasn't going to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. I have literally been in a, hi a hiatus. I have done nothing for my business in a long while. I have not prospected. I have not marketed. I haven't done anything. Um, I've been working on my own life outside of business. Now, to me, and you, if you know me, you know that I always, the, they're the same. Your business is your life, and your life is your business, and so forth and so on. And so my mom challenged me. She said, nope. Today's the last day to sign up, and you're going, you're doing it. And she gifted me the course, and I'm really excited. It's a live course. If you don't know what it is, it's a live 14-day challenge that Ray Higdon conducts, and it's amazing. And it's I've been to all of them so far, and my first one I did okay. Certainly not Tara stuff, you know, not all the way. And my second one, hey Cheryl, hi mom. My second one, uh, about halfway through, I just stopped making videos, and I was like. Phew. And I was more disappointed, of course, in myself than anything because the course is amazing. I went to every training, took copious notes, had an amazing time, but I did not have an amazing time really for me. And so this time, my mom says, no, you're doing it. You're doing it. And that's that. And so I did it. And I said, well, I'm not going to let her down because, you know, when your mom believes in you and wants to share something with you and wants you to reach for the things that she knows you can do, You've got to pay attention to that, right? So I did. And I did my challenge. I never uh, missed a day. Sometimes I had to make up. But I always made sure I caught up and even threw up more live videos. And now, the one action step that you get the entire time is, hey, Fernand, what's going on? Is to make sure that you are doing a live video. And I love marketing. I love video. And... and like Grace says, like 14 days, oh, there are people out there that suffer through all sorts of stuff and get nowhere. And so my my results are not something that maybe a lot of people would be even interested in, even if you don't understand what that means. Um, I, I didn't get a whole bunch of leads. I didn't make any new sales. But what happened for me, which is funny because, like I, like I said, I've been like in a hiatus focusing on my life, is... Um, the effects it's had on my life, the effects it's had in my mind, you know? I'm just reading a message from, from uh, Sarah, sorry. <laughs> and what's happened for me is that I feel like, well, I feel really good. I feel great. I'm really excited. There's a, I have a whole bunch of shit going on in my life, and most people would not be feeling so great. I'm feeling great. It's going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay. I feel even more certain of it. It's Built faith. Another weird thing is I have, uh, let me see, I, I want to express it to you, but I'm, I feel kind of funny about it. I have been literally without a boyfriend or a love interest for a long time. And I'm talking a long time. The last boyfriend that I had was like so ridiculous that I was like, I am finished. <laughs> Done. I'll just wait till something comes along. And I've been just not even worried about it. I haven't been even thinking about it. I have no, I, I, I just, and it just went on and on and on and on. And it's been a long time. And it's kind of crazy because if you know me from my olden times, and I know some olden time people are going to get on here, they're going to be like, what? Um, I generally don't go very long at all without anything. And I have. And right now I feel like, so empowered and I feel like well I wouldn't I wouldn't be like anti that and I know I was so excited I was trying to win an interview because I'm like that's the goal I give a shit about the money I don't care about the money I wanted the interview and then I got the honorable mention and it was like a 10 minute training inside today's training I was stoked man that is amazing I'm so happy I'm so happy oh my god so besides Besides that, that's that's another result I got. I got an honorable mention in the last 
the last uh, contest that we did. And I'm kind of used to being closer to winner. And I haven't even ranked on anything at all in a while. And <laughs> I was really excited that I made honorable mention of the thousands of people that submitted to the last contest. I was in the top 22 and I was an honorable mention, which is just like a few people before the winners. And I'm super excited about it. That made me really happy. Um, the, I, it's so existential my experience right now and I don't know if it has to do with it's springtime or if it's just my time if it's just time for me to climb out of my shell like a pistachio and just be delicious that I think that might be what it is you know it's just time and it's okay this is something I wanted to say to people that that maybe they're going through one of those times where they just are they have zero that it's not happening you know, nothing's happening not making any moves, not shaking any trees, just not happening, that sometimes that's what you need to be experiencing. I'm not saying that you should stay there. I really think you should be a go-getter and do it when you don't feel like it. I really think you should do the opposite of what I've done for the past six months. However, if that does happen to you, there's no reason to beat yourself up about it because that's a bunch of bullshit. What matters is that you recognize it and you pull the learning from that and you understand, okay, Okay, you know, sometimes you need a day off. Sometimes you need more than a day off. And sometimes it's just what it is. And I feel like I might not, I really don't know, I, I just don't think I would have felt this kind of turn in my own personal perception. I feel more like my old marketing self. I feel like I'm more of a go-getter. Um, I feel really good. Now, I know I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a whole bunch of work to do. There's a bunch of things that I have no desire to do that I need to do to grow my business. And I'm going to do it whether I like it or not, whether it's fun times or not. Because when you when you look at this, uh, I'll give you an example. And this, I don't know if you'll relate to this or not. But um, I'm not going to say where I work. Some people might know. It's not listed on my Facebook. Some people locally might know where I work. We had a girl that was working with us. And she's relatively young. She's about probably my daughter's age. And she came in as close to a full-timer and then applied for a management position and got it. Miracles happen. But the whole time, she was always kind of uh, like going through a lot of struggles. And sometimes when you're going through a lot of struggles, it's not the best thing to tell people that you're going through those struggles. You tell your friends you're going through those struggles. You don't announce it to every person that walks through the door. Eventually, the whole thing fell apart, and I knew it would because it just would. And I was talking to my boss, and she was feeling bad. You know, she was like, God, she's going through it. I think it's everything. and I'm, I know it is. I've been there. I've been all the way down. And I said, there's one thing that keeps me from following a completely self-pity route. Even when I'm taking hiatus, I'm not doing a self-pity route. And that is, and this is something Ray taught me, this is really important, this is something that you would hear in a 14-day challenge, it's something you would hear in Rank Makers, it's something you would hear on his Friday free coaching. If there are other people having success with the same amount of resources as you, and you're not, it's because you're not. It's not because the cards are stacked against you. It's not because of that. And I said that to her. I said, this is how I try to keep myself from falling apart when I, you know, like, I think I should be this place and I'm this age and da, 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 and I have this talent and I have this education and I have this good spa. I said, when I look at somebody else my age and they are further along than me, I have no time to wallow in pity about where I'm at because they didn't and they're there. And there is nobody in the United States of America that doesn't have equal opportunity. Some people have harder cards dealt to them. I know that Ray Higdon's cards are way harder than any of the cards I experienced. Absolutely. I don't know how he did it. People used to say to me, I don't know how you do it. You know, I was, I was a, a kid in a divorced family. I had a mom that cared so much about me, it was ridiculous. She worked two full-time jobs, five days a week, six days a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have it that bad. She gave a shit. She did everything she could. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about that, when I look at that and I look at that experience and I look at that 
in my mind and I look at where I am in my business and I, all of a sudden the, the veil drops. I no longer compare myself to other people that are my age or been in it longer than me or at the same time as me or less than me because everyone's journey is different. Okay? The key to it is, and this is what I'm really pulling from the 14-day challenge, thank you, Ray, and all the people that pull it together, is that you do your best right now, and you, you that's what you worry about. You don't put so much emphasis on what you could have been, what the choices that you made before, or how long you stopped marketing, or how long you stopped working your business, or how long you... Stop it. It's a bunch of crap. You could be wherever you want to be. And for some other people, you're going to go way faster than... You're going to be someone's inspiration. So, when you get a chance to, when you when you give yourself a chance to, just go ahead and do the thing for doing the thing. And thank you so much, Mom, for making this happen. Because it just... You know what I'm saying? Like, I was not joining the next 14-day challenge. And it happened. And that's what happens when... You love yourself when you care about the people that care about you and you go and you just do it and things are going to start happening and I'm really excited about it and so I just wanted to say what's up and I want to give you guys some inspiration. I want to give you some like, whoo, you know, motivation. This is something he went over a lot. Motivation is not getting yourself wanting to do something. Motivation is doing something regardless of whether or not you want to do it. So if you're interested in getting some of these notes, I got some really good notes from this 14-day challenge. I'd love to share them with you. Shoot me a message. Let me know. And I'll get them to you because he's not having another one until June. And it'd be nice. They're different every time. So it'd be nice for you to have a little bit of what, what, what before you go. And that's what's up. I want to thank you so much, everybody, for joining me in the challenge. I want to thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me and let me cut my hair in front of people and stuff. And I think it came out pretty nice. Look at it. I feel sassy. So... I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mom. You are the bomb.com. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace.